Unexplained Mysteries, Dead and Back Again. Many people believe their bodies are inhabited by reincarnated souls. A farmer in Nova Scotia is suddenly racked by nightmares of the Holocaust. Without a doubt, it was not me. Uh, it was a, another man and his wife and two children, an older gentleman and, and a dog. I couldn't connect who these people were. We have many stories of people reincarnating from disasters. Many people are not aware that Hasidic Jews do believe in reincarnation. In his dreams, Whittier saw an old clock that would prove to be significant. It was uh, black, uh, tall, very quiet. No one would find us because, of, because it was so quiet. At the last part of the dream, I was told that this clock was now in Canada, and it could be found at a new antique shop that had opened uh, on our Route 1 which is our main road. As he was on the phone telling me about this, I felt shivers go up my spine. Here was a man who had dreamed of a clock from Europe in another life and found that clock in an antique store by following directions in the dream. To find out the identity of the people in his dreams, Whittier sought out a hypnotist who specialized in regression therapy. I speak direct to your subconscious mind, and I'll say, I want you to move back to that event. In an exclusive session, McAdoo hypnotized Whittier. Your mind is relaxed, and you are beginning to feel at peace. What is happening here today where you are? Worried and scared. In his past life, Whittier claims he was a Jewish telegraph operator named Stefan Horowitz. His family was hiding in a root cellar. How long do you stay here? For more than two weeks. We went on to when he was captured by the Germans, and his family was taken by truck and then by train to the camps. Then we moved to the last day of his life. What I remember is being taken to a place outside of the camp and being taken uh, and stood along a trench. And we had no idea what was in the trench until we actually were made to stand there. And when you looked down in the trench and saw the rest of the bodies, you knew what was going to happen. And then uh, I remember being shot through the back and falling into the pit. It was an absolutely uh, devastating feeling to know that you actually were being somebody else and you were being shot and you were actually dying. During the regression, Whittier seemed to tense as if he had actually been shot. I then realized that I actually didn't die from being shot, that I died from suffocation because of the bodies on top of me. Move out of the body and tell me what it feels like as you lift out of the body. Oh, there's so many people that are going up. As you see this light, it's so bright. There's rays of blue light that are coming. And then he says, I'm not hungry anymore. And this, to me, again, is a very authentic detail, because the immediate realization as he enters the gates of heaven is that he's no longer hungry and he's no longer cold. And if he were making up the story, that would not likely be the first thing you would say upon being in the gates of heaven. Whittier says he saw blue light and that surprised him. In this life, he had read in books, etc., that it should be a white light, it should be a yellow light. Well, in Jewish mystical tradition, the light is a blue light. And considering that his own background is Christian, he didn't see angels with harps, he didn't see Jesus. He saw what I believe Stefan Horwitz would have expected to see, a very Jewish model of heaven. Rabbi Gershom has a theory about Holocaust reincarnation. What I believe happened in the Holocaust is that so many Jews were killed at once and entire family lines were destroyed that these people could not come back in their own village or their own family line. So they sought out the nearest body they could find. Whittier was plagued with questions until he was hypnotized. I now have a real sense of peace. And what about the clock that Whittier had such strong images about in his dreams? It's my belief that it was the will of God that he have this clock returned to him. 
Now, the clock itself was a very expensive antique that Bruce could not afford to buy. And as I began to tell the story in conferences around the country, people began to pass the hat and collect money to ransom the clock. And so the clock now sits in Bruce's home. It, it certainly has increased my belief in the spirit world. And without their help and the guides and those that are dealing with us on the other side, that there was no way that the clock would arrive. Rabbi Gershom believes there is a powerful reason why Bruce Whittier and people like him experience reincarnation visions. Jewish culture has survived. The Nazis did not succeed in destroying that. And so those who still have pain from that other life can find much healing in finding out what it was that they gave their lives to preserve.